Did you know that exposing your body to colder temperatures can really help on so many different fronts for your health? One of them is fat loss. We're gonna talk about six different ways that that cold exposure is really beneficial. Okay, so the first one, of course, is that weight loss. Now, what cold exposure is doing is it's actually increasing your brown fat. We have different types of fat in our body. We have white fat, we have the brown fat, which is more thermogenically active. That's because it has more mitochondria. And our white fat can actually turn into beige, meaning that it's developing more mitochondria on its way to becoming that brown fat. So it really is a fantastic way to, in small increments, allow your body to get cold and doing this in a safe way, really important for that weight loss. Okay, the second benefit that I have on my list of cold exposure is that, of course, it helps to increase your heat, your body heat. And this is due to mitochondrial uncoupling. Now in this study, it was found that for the first time, and this was a human study, that skeletal muscle has the intrinsic capacity for cold-induced adaptive thermogenesis, so the making of more body heat via mitochondrial uncoupling under physiological conditions, meaning being in the cold. And what our mitochondria can do is they can dissipate protons to actually create heat. So we always hear about mitochondria mitochondria being the energy but the powerhouse of the cell. Of course, yes, that is a major function of our mitochondria, but another one is to dissipate protons, meaning creating more body heat. And of course, this is more common in people who have this adaptive capacity because their mitochondria are in fact uncoupled because they and their mother and their mother's mother have these mitochondria because they're uncoupled from living and of course being born in a more northern, usually latitude, so northern Europeans, northern Northern Canadians like myself with uncoupled mitochondria. Okay, another benefit of cold exposure, number three on my list, is less pain and inflammation in the body. Now we know that cold, if you've bruised yourself, if you've banged yourself, if you've injured yourself, what do you do? You put ice on, well that can help with that pain and inflammation, but in a general sense in your body, when your mitochondria become more efficient at creating a special type of water in your body, that exclusion zone water, now you have a better internal battery and there's more fluid flow through through your fascia system and this is fantastic for of course that anti-inflammatory state. Number four is less anxiety. So we know that cold immersion, so whether that's your head in an ice cold water bucket, or it could be just immersing your hands or your feet or your whole body in an ice bath, this helps to stimulate the vagus nerve. And now your vagus nerve will tend to go more into the relaxed state, into the parasympathetic part of the nervous system, along with the proper breathing, instead of the sympathetic, that fight or flight, and that you know survival mode of your autonomic nervous system. Okay, number five on my list, another benefit of being in the cold is better sleep. So we know that the brain actually needs to cool to have that proper melatonin secretion for that good night's sleep. And cooling your room is important. Now doing cold exposure throughout the day also helps again your mitochondrial health and helps for that better sleep at bedtime. And number six on my list is improved immunity. So we know that cold dunks or cold showers do help to stimulate the immune system. It's not what our mom told us. And I've been guilty of doing this for my own kids and telling them, yeah, it's cold outside, put on your jacket, put on your hat. Yes, for longer periods of time, absolutely that's true. But in our own internal wisdom and in our children's wisdom, small bursts of that cold exposure are actually very, very preventative and protective for the immune system and they won't get sick. Okay, now what type of cold exposure have you tried? I'm really curious, let me know in the comments. And for more tips on using castor oil for fat loss, I want you to check out my video, Use Castor Oil to Reduce Belly Fat. I'll see you there.